Oh, hey, you caught me right outside my house holding a microphone. This is Matt Bronger, The Bronx Way. I wanted to talk to you for a second about the holidays and why they suck. Here's the thing, it's your family. Your family is why the holidays suck. They're always the same, you butt heads with them, you love them, but do you want to be around them all the time? No. A friend of mine, Moshe Kasher, described his vision of hell as eternity with your family. I can't argue. I love my family, but after a couple days, I just want to jump right out the window. Not even that hard. Just let the glass cut my throat open so the jugular bursts open and I get the sweet release of death. <laughs> Who hasn't felt that over Christmas? Guess my message to you is, it's just ceremony. It's great. It's, it's required. And uh, it's actually helpful for us all to have an excuse to get together. It's just that, it's an excuse. Like high school or jail. Places that teach you to make friends or family. So don't take it too seriously. Don't get in your head too much. Just because you're with your family doesn't mean you have to be like your family or think like your family. Do you know what I mean? You ever meet someone that's, that's young and racist? You're like, Wait, what? how are you still racist? You're 22 years old. You're not an old man. But that 22 year old has an old ornery father. Probably beat him up, taught him to be racist. Do you know what I'm saying? He just loves his dad that much. So I'm saying, love your family, you don't have to be like them. And am I calling everybody's family racist? Yes, no, I'm not. I like that someone whistled just then. Bullshit on that call. Not all families are racist, of course that's not true. But you're gonna butt heads with them on a lot of things. So just smooth it out. Hang out with your family, have a good time. And when it's time, enjoy the sweet release of a plane ride home. If you live with them, boy, I'm sorry. Maybe it's time to look at options. Like I say so often on my podcast, uh, advice from a dip <laughs> just don't drive yourself too crazy. Don't, don't get inside your head too much and get angry at yourself or them. Just ride it out. I don't think we talk enough about how the, the holidays can be super f***ed up. Let's think about Christmas right now, or Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa. These are holidays that were put in the coldest and darkest time of the year. You can't tell me they're not an excuse to not kill yourself. All these shining lights and all, the, all these, all these uh, beautiful ornaments hanging everywhere and, and uh, tinsel, fake shiny snow, that's to distract you from your imminent mortality. That's a good thing. My wife loves Christmas. I didn't used to. I used to literally look at Christmas as just evidence of mortality, of just a signpost of we're all going to die. That's kind of what I'd hear during every Christmas song. Because every year I just kept going, I'm just getting older. But there's no life without death. You embrace that. So now I love Christmas and Hanukkah. I love the holidays. It's a good time. Like I said, it's an excuse. It's very fun. So what, we, what have we covered here? Don't let your family drive you crazy. They're just your family. Holidays are an excuse, but a great excuse. And we're all going to die. But that's a good thing. This has been an incredibly convoluted episode of The Wrong Way. Thanks for watching.